Hey everybody, um, welcome to our first video in a three video series on science writing part two. Uh, so we're going to continue um, our conversation on effective techniques and practices in science or academic writing. Um, and today I want to focus on three basic rules for clear writing. Um, parallel structure, number one. Number two, active versus passive voice. And number three, using real verbs or using strong verbs. Real or strong verbs, those, those um, strong and real are used um, simultaneously. So this first video will just address parallel structure. Yeah, what is parallel structure, you might ask? That's a good question. Um, so parallel structure basically means you keep multiple items organized in the same way. And this happens a lot in academic and science writing, right? Because we're writing about complex topics. So our sentences can get sometimes complex and there's a way to organize them really effectively. So the example here is the committee found that the employee did not cause the accident acted properly immediately after the accident and reported the accident according to procedures. So that's our sentence we're looking at. And the um, what is parallel structure here, what is following parallel structure are the things highlighted in yellow. Did not cause, acted, reported. So this sentence tells us the committee found that this one employee did three things, right? It's a list of three things. Did not cause, acted, reported. So each um, each action that the employee took uses the proper tense, uses a verb in the proper tense, in this case past tense. So the breaking of a parallel structure in this case would be something like that the employee did not cause the accident, um, acts properly or uh, inappropriate action, so not even not either a verb or not the or a verb in the wrong tense. So we want to keep things parallel and parallel structure it helps your reader to follow complex ideas much more easily because they're structured in a similar way. Another example uh, is um, this sentence here, our present system is costing us profits and reducing our productivity. So is costing and reducing are structured in a parallel way. I often see something like this, like our present system costs us profits, profits and is reducing our productivity. It's not necessarily wrong, it just doesn't flow as easily as saying our present system is costing us profits and reducing our productivity. Or you could say our present system costs us profits and reduces our productivity. Parallel structured verbs in this case. But parallel structure can be other things as well, not just verbs. So any questions about this, send me an email, imay at umaryland.edu.